Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and in this video we're going to be carrying on painting. And uh, we're carrying on with the Order of the Vampire Hunters. And we have Magenta here, and we have Stefan here. And I think this week, or this video, we're going to paint Magenta. This is the character I like to play. Um, and uh, just because I can. <laughs> so let's see what we can do with her, shall we? Um, again, we're going to start off with flesh, and again, we're using the pale colour of flesh, right there, uh, Kisler flesh. We're trying to keep it all fairly similar so it all ties in together. Um, I don't want to make too big a differences between the characters because I want them to, I want, you know, they're in the same game. So trying to make them as not uniform, but try and make them as similar as I can. Um, so what do we have in the line of flesh? Uh, it looks like we have bare arms, bare hands, and face and cleavage. So with that being said let us get our paintbrush into the paint and make a start. Now the character's name is Magenta and that is because she has pinky purply coloured hair. I assume, or she has pink, uh, that particular coloured hair because her name is Magenta. I'm going to have to actually find out what colour Magenta actually is. I think it's like a pinky purpley colour. Or a purpley reddy colour kind of thing. Um, I'm trying to remember from my days working in a dark room. Um, developing and printing photographs. Um, we used to do the uh, magenta, cyan and yellow was it? Um, with the filters for making the the colours on the um, print. Right? Never get the hang of it though so Hence the reason I didn't become the photographer that I wanted to be. Um, but things have changed now with uh, what we call it. Um, I'm just going to paint all of that because I can't tell what's what, where, and why. Um, things have changed now with digital photography. But when I was at college studying photography, it was. Um, film and uh, digital photography wasn't around then in the late 80s so I didn't get the ease of using digital stuff and I'm saying ease because I think it's a lot easier with digital than it was um, with film can't quite get the colours in your head right and you see different you see colours a certain way and everybody else says it's wrong or the lecturer said it, it's wrong you know you can't win so uh. yeah, that's enough of that but uh, yeah I'm going to have to have a look and see what colour magenta actually is I, th um, I think it's like a pur pale purpley colour that's the one I'm going to go with anyway, because that's how it shows on the card for it. So, that's how I'm going to run it. Um, next, we have... This is slipping, I don't know why. Um, let's see if I can adjust this. Give me a second. That's 
feels a little better. So, what do we have next? Um, let's go with her clothing. I'm actually going to do it as though she's wearing some form of one piece thing. Just for the sake of ease really. Um, so I'm going to go with, first off, Caliban Green. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the palette, not all that much, and into that I'm going to put some, when I can find it, no, there we are, Inky by Darkness. Um, I get a nice, a, quite a strange little colour going along here for this uh, particular character. Um, And then, now that that's gone in there, into that again, I've got to get some super glue on there, my ferrules coming off the brush. Um, also into that I'm going to add a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of Apadon Black, um, just to darken it slightly. And we're not going mad with this. There we are. That will do fine. Okay, so and again, there we are. So brush dampened slightly, and all over the clothing. I'm even going to paint the body armor. I'm just going to do it all because it's going to work out easier for me to pick out what needs to be done um, later on. Um, I can see it better sometimes when it's painted and as I said with these minis because they're not brilliantly moulded and super detailed um, I'm finding it easier to pick out the bits what I want after they've been painted. So that's what I'm going to do. The parts that I know definitely aren't going to be this colour and that I can actually make um, that I can, can actually differentiate I'm going to leave but uh, the majority of it I'm going to I'm going to leave it, I've just painted some of the body armour. Oh well, never mind. So we're going to go for a dark greenish colour for the outfit. Um, oops, wrong bit. Uh, again wrong thing oh beggar it's painted all it'll be easier to cover when it's all the same mm, yeah we're not messing about now it might add a little bit of well this is so quickly gone this mix and the amount of paint I put on there I can't believe it's gone so soon. But there we are. Now for this I will be going over it with a different colour of wash than I usually do. Um, it's all green so it'll be a green wash that I put on it. Try not to leave any out. There we are. That's that. I think most of that went into the brush to be honest. Next job. Um, 
what can we do next? Well, let's do her. I so I want a palish colour. So we're going to mix two colours together. We're going to mix Zerius Purple and Jean Steeler Purple together. In fact, not Zerius Purple, what am I talking about? We're going to mix a little bit of these two together, Evil Sun Scarlet and Jean Steeler Purple. Um, let's see how this works, shall we? So, that's the red. Eventually I will remember about the uh, thing coming off on this. And now the purple. Mm, I think way too much red. For this purple to cope with. No, yeah, we'll try that. That doesn't look too bad. I've really, really, really done too much there. Try to <laughs> what you call it? Make try to do something better than this one, and then I'll go and basically mess up. But. That's the colour we're going to go with. And for this one I will be highlighting with a mix of this colour and white. I don't usually do white, but it will work much better when mixing a what do we call it? We're mixing a colour like this for her it will look better if I do it with white. I was trying to get as much of the her painted as possible and getting into recessed areas as well as around the face. That's part of the the big problem with miniatures of this size, trying to get into some of the tighter areas. That should do it. And again we'll Um, into the paint and continue colouring in the hair. And there we are. I think I've got the hair colour about right. Next job. I'm just I've not missed a bit, missed a little bit there. Job. We're going to be doing the body armour, and for that, I should really put this in separate. In fact, no, I'm going to use a straight Abaddon black for the body armour. Um, I'm going to try to open a new one when I've got one open already. Uh, this is for the body armour. I 
so into this colour and look for all the parts on other day's body armour. Now there is a bit underneath the that isn't armour. You just like um, a strapping, um, not strapping like a. Oh, that's flesh, I think. So I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to do here as well. Um, nothing there. I'm going to do the leg. Um, for want of a better word, they all seem to be wearing this kind of thing. Like chaps, aren't they? I suppose they are American, I believe, so. Part of the cowboy outfit which they may have commandeered as a kind of uniform I don't know but we're just as I say going to keep at this and find out, get on the base colour on first, all, when I say the base colour, I mean on the, block out the colour on the model where you want certain colours to be and then later on we go back and we can then sort it out and make it neat and tidy and um, what we call it, get everything though that needs to be highlighted done and tidy up so we make the mess first of all and then we tidy up obviously so by the mess I mean the base coat and the tidying up I mean the highlighting look at it that way easy way to approach if you do that <laughs> okay and not so much to do now There we are. And now the boots. For the boots I'm going to still use the Abaddon Black. But we're going to put into that some Rhinox Hide. Which is that colour. Um, Now we're taking off some of the stark black from this and making it just that touch browner, like an oil kind of colour. And that is the one we're going to use for the boots. Because I don't want it completely black. But there may be a little bit too much brown in that for my liking. There we go. Now that will do. Um, I should really have. In fact, no. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to use this colour for um, the straps as well, and then later on, when we come to highlight, we can change the highlights for it uh, to a different highlight to give it a slightly different or make it look like it's a different colour so that strap will uh, we'll have that if I want to change brushes for the straps because um, I, want it a bit, I want to be a bit more precise with this so that's what I'll do um, So 
So try and get it so that we uh, painting just what we think or what we can see as being the straps. Also I need to do the sole of the boot and make sure all the boots are covered. Um, the belt around here. Do the belt with that. And the straps around where I'm holding on the mini um, crossbow. And that should be that. Um, I'll just keep touching up where we think we need it. As I said, trying again. Just to get the base colour on. Be more precise with um, highlighting with certain things. And that and then. Noticed also there's quite a wide strap there for that and a narrow strap there. Then again, I am going to have to go into the um, skin tone once more for there. And I missed some of the body armor from the shoulder there. Looks like so. that's about it really um, for that it's just as I say getting back into the skin tone and the next job is uh, wood the wooden areas meaning the stake and the crossbow and then Once we've done the stake and the crossbar, we can then do the um, wash back into the hair colour just to tidy up some of the bits here which I've missed with the bigger brush and only just seen. There we are. And now the wooden areas, which as usual are going to be done with dryad bark. I'm just going to take it straight out of the pot. There's no big um, thing with it. Um, a wooden stake. crossbow. That is it for the base coat. Um, what we need to do now however is as I say the wash. There doesn't seem to be a, a bolt attached to this. Oh dear God. 
In fact, I'm going to do these little canister things here as well, in this colour. Um, once again, when we come to highlight, we can always add a little of a different colour into it to give it a uh, make it look as though it is a different base color base coat. But we know it's the same color base coat we use for the wood. And there we go. And that is basically that. So, um, a little bit more, if we can get it, of the green. Oh, I don't think we can, so I'm not bother. That is that. Next job. Oh dear lord. The wash. In fact, I need to touch up on her face. And the flesh tone a little bit here as well. Right, so the wash, as I say. I'll start off with the hair this time, for the simple reason being is everywhere else is has been touched up with uh, what you may call it paint. Um, although saying that, it looks firmly dry. Yeah, let's uh, do this then. For the the main green part of her. Outfits. We're using Keelia Green Shade. I don't have much of this left. I don't think. We'll have to look and see if I've got a bigger tub of this. I have. So that can go. We have a big tub of the Keelia Green Shade. So we'll do it. So I'll use a bigger brush as well. Um, not that much bigger, but just enough to hold a little bit of the paint. And we'll paint that on. Obviously, there'll be areas when we come back to look at it, I'll think, well, that isn't supposed to be the same piece of uh, clothing so I'll have to paint it a different way but at least we have a base colour to work with now and we can see how things fit together and relate to each other and once the uh, wash dries it will be easy to see where the shadows and the dips are because sometimes it's not terribly easy on models to see those areas and to see what things are so if you have a, a mini where you can't really see what things are supposed to be my advice is paint it all kind of like one colour like I've done on here and then look at it and um, look how it works with each other or each bit works with it with each other and then you can actually probably or then Chances are you'll see how it works and what it's supposed to be. Um, not all the time, but it's just a one of those little hints that I find seems to work more often than not. In fact, I'm going to go over everything with this green. I've decided the brown of the straps, the black of the body armour it will give it an interesting texture, not a texture, an interesting tone 
if nothing else. However, I am not going to put this on the, the wooden areas. Um, that's going to be a different colour of wash. No, I'm putting it on the her because I don't want green her. <laughs> so that's that bit done. The next bit we're going to do is the her, and that is going to be done with Carolberger Crimson. I think. Yeah, it's not much different to the colour. I've already done it so that will do nicely. It'll add a little bit more depth to it by filling in the um, recesses. Doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Fill in the recesses and it applies. It's like a one stop shadow creator <laughs> and depth creator. So that is that and the next bit to do now is the flesh and that may come as absolutely no surprise to you whatsoever, Reiklin Fleshe. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit careful of where we apply it to now that we've done the hair. I'm not going overboard. With it, it's just going to go where it needs to go. If I've missed anywhere or gone over anywhere with previous colours that I shouldn't have gone over or done, I can always touch it up again when we come to highlight everything is correctable adjustable rather not correctable as Bob Ross says we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents and painting and whatever way you're doing it whether it be models or pictures it's just an exercise in corrections Adjustments, not corrections, adjustments. So there we have it. That's magenta so far. When we come back, we will be uh, finishing her off, um, applying the um, whatchamacallit, applying the highlights and uh, painting the base. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.